Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the new features which come during the MDM 10. And that new feature is nothing but provisioning tool. We are going to see one of the usage of the provisioning tool and how to access the provisioning tool in today's session. So let's start today's session. In order to demonstrate uh, one of the activity in the provisioning tool, we have configured few of the base object table. The base object tables are BO Association, BO Employee, BO Organization, BO Product, and BO Reporting. The rest of the tables are created for some other demos, so we can safely ignore that. For this above mentioned the view tables, we also corresponding landing table such as landing association, landing employee, landing organization, landing product, and landing reporting. We also created the relationship among the different tables such as association table and the relation between association and the organization table the reporting table and the, uh, the relationship between reporting and the employee table something like that once we configure all these tables in the mdm hub inside the cmx ors schema so current schema is cmx ors you can see at the bottom right side of the this tool so we have configured all this table once we're done with that we went to the IDD administrator tool and we have configured one IDD application. The name of IDD application is IDD underscore custom while the display name is IDD application. This application also uses the hierarchy management that is with the admin profile, our logical ORS database CMX ORS and we have configured the subject areas such as employee, employee, or employee organization and the product each will have the corresponding details such as employee will have the employee details organization will have the organization detail the product have the product details once we are done with the configuration we save the application the validated application and then we later generate the business entity schema and then we try to access the IDD application but whenever I try to access the IDD application I can see this page this information or the uh, the message given on this page is the start page is not configured yet use the provisioning tool to configure start page with that are useful for your business users so this message clearly indicates that we have to use the provisioning tool to configure the start page however this is not mandatory option there are two types of IDD applications comes one with a normal data view and the other is 360 data view if you are going to use a 360 data view then you will get this message however if you don't want to use the 360 view then we can use the normal data view by enabling the uh, data data uh, by enabling the data property in the same server.properties file however in today's session our target is what is to understand what is provisioning tool and how we can use whenever you download the informatic MDM documentation one of the documentation is related to the provisioning tool how we can configure that as we know the provisioning tool comes with the MDM 10 the prior to MDM 10 we do not have this tool so we have just only data view in the IDD the provisioning tool is has the major, more capabilities not just configuring the IDD features so let's have a look or let's have a, the overview about the provisioning tool so what this tool is it is a tool which can be used to create the business entity model we know that whenever we configure the MDM hub we first create the database model like we create the party party address organization individual etc tables but for the business these are not useful things business can understand the term the entities like the customer the product something like that if you are going to create the business entity model then this provisioning tool is helpful 
it also used to create a root node okay so actually in this tool the every object or every table in the MDM hub is treated as a node so to create a root node we have to use the provisioning tool and then we can create the other component or the other sub nodes once we create a root node and other sub node or do we call also business entity nodes then we can publish the relationship between the nodes in order to create business entity model we also have to create the foreign key constraint using the MDM hub so whenever we create a two table one is parent and another is child we have to define the referential integrity or the relationship among those tables we can do that using MDM hub after we build the business entity model and configure the nodes we can publish the configuration to the MDM hub so that means provisioning tool and the MDM hub are internally linked however when we create business entity model in the provisioning tool we have to first create it we have to validate it make sure everything is correct and then we have to publish it once it is published that will get synced in the MDM hub example in this case if you see the person is a, a root entity while the other like the contact address telephone and the gender code are sub entities contact address also has one more node called as address and address has the fields state code and country code on the same line telephone has the field called as a phone type so this is the example of the business entity model so what are the prerequisites before going to use the provisioning tool make sure we have configured the database model in the operational reference store that is in the ORS we need to define the base object so base objects will be the nodes in the provisioning tool we have to add the constraint also in the MDM using the MDM hub and that constraint will be between the tables which are defined in the MDM hub to configure the business entity structure you must first define the relationship constraint between the base object however if you're going to use the provisioning tool for the IDD that is nothing but informatica data director specifically for the match and merge con comparison view cross reference view history view and the timeline view the basic requirement we have to create the IDD application configuration based on the subject areas and then we can use the IDD configuration manager to generate the business entity configuration from the subject area configuration so if you remember whenever we created MDM hub app, uh, whenever we created IDD application we first saved it we validated and we generated the business entity configuration so these are the steps to use the provisioning tool or these are the prerequisite before using the provisioning tool for these two components so let's have some basic knowledge before going to use the provisioning tool the provisioning tool entity um, business entity model comes with the a root node the root node is the uppermost node in the business entity structure and it defines the business entity type for example in our recent diagram we have said person is the root node and the other component like the telephone contact will be the business entity or the we can also call as a business entity structure in this case the blue highlighted figure is nothing but it is root node and the other rest the figure which are not highlighted are the business entity structure the business entity structure or the business entity model it is a tree structure of the nodes so each node have it can have its a sub node each node correspond to a base object table in the MDM hub each field corresponding to the column of the base object table in the MDM hub so node is nothing but the base object in the MDM hub however field in the business entity structure is nothing but the column in the base object in the MDM hub along with the entity structure 
business entity structure and the root node, there is some other concept we need to know that is nothing but the node properties. The node properties are helpful to configure the various property which we can sync back to the MDM hub. By using node properties, we can associate a base object with a node. We can associate a constraint with a child node. Also, we can configure the node display text in order to configure the search properties for each field, we can use this node properties also. Along with that, we can also apply the filter using the node properties. How to use this node property, we will see shortly. So these are the, some basic details about the provisioning tool. We will go back and we will see how to access the provisioning tool. If you remember, in order to access the MDM hub, we write the uh, name of the server, then the port, and then we use the forward slash CMX to access the MDM hub. Similarly, to access the provisioning tool, you have to use server name, then the port, and the word called as a provisioning, and then hit the enter button. Whenever we hit the enter button, you will see this screen, and this is nothing but the provisioning tool. In the provisioning tool, you can see at the right hand side, you have the help section. You can use that for understanding the various uh, components in this tool. Then you can see the user which is used to log in this provisioning tool. There are some tabs called as home, modeling, layout editor, advanced configuration, current database. Current database is nothing but which schema currently you are using. If you have the multiple CMS schemas, you can choose appropriate. Then we have the button called as generate PES, validate and publish and discard the changes. Normally, in order to configure the uh, business entities, we use the model, modeling section. Whenever you open that modeling section, you will see the two components, business entity and reference entities. Business entity is nothing but the base object. Those are like the suppose party or address, contact, etc. Reference ent entities are nothing but the lookup tables in the MDM hub, such as party type or the address type, etc. And currently, in the IDD application, I have configured three subject area called as employee details, organization detail, and the product detail. If I click the employee detail, it shows the, the properties, or these are nothing but the node properties which I have just seen in the presentation. It has the properties such as label format, field. Is it one to many or it has any reference one? Currently, it is do not have any reference, so all these fields are empty. On the right hand side, you can see the details about the each property from which base object this property is coming. So, current property is employee details and it is coming from C underscore BO underscore EMP. The name of property is employee details, display name is employee details. If you want to enable the state management, you can enable state management for this base object if you want to discard if you want to apply the change you can do that in order to create a new node you have to click on the create button it will create a new node and you can assign that new node to the base object in the upcoming session we will see the actual demo how to create a node and how to sync that node in the MDM hub for now thank you for watching my video if you have any questions about informatic MDM or provisioning tool, you can mention comment section of this video. Thank you and have a nice time.